Okay, so many people are going to be shocked that they're going to get this simple math problem wrong. Okay, so put away your calculators and let's test your basic math skills. So we have negative one squared minus negative one in parentheses squared. All right, so once again, no calculators, but uh, if you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. Now, I'm gonna suggest that uh, if you are going to attempt this problem, write out each step. So just in case you go wrong, you can see where you went off track. All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is the following. It is negative two. Now, if you got this right, you're going to get the following. You're going to get an A+, a 100%, a happy face, and a certificate of excellence for your knowledge of basic mathematics. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I think you're wrong. I think I did the problem right. Well, we'll see about that. But uh, again, if you feel pretty strong about what you did, that's uh, excellent, okay? But you obviously are misunderstanding something about how to do this problem. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get into things right now. So as I indicated in the beginning of this video, a lot of people are going to be very surprised that they got the wrong answer. And I think the most common error here is the following. A lot of people said, all right, I have negative one squared here and negative one squared here. So negative one squared is a negative one times a negative one, which is a positive one. So you have one minus one, or maybe the answer is zero. Okay, so if I had to say the number one wrong answer, it is probably zero. Now, if this is your answer and you're like, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is right, what's going on here? Well, what's going on is that this and this are not the same thing in mathematics. Now, math is a language and every little tiny detail counts. So when you use parentheses, you are stating something uh, different than a number without parentheses when we are talking about a power. So uh, again, if you got zero as your answer, I am so happy that you found this video. But uh, this is not the only thing that you need to understand to do this problem. Now, I'm gonna fully explain this in just one second, why negative one squared is not the same thing as negative one in parentheses squared. But uh, there's some other things that you need to know as well to do this problem without a calculator. All right, so the first thing that we need to understand is that negative one squared written like this is not the same thing as negative one in parentheses squared. And I'll explain this in just one second. Now there's two other things that you need to understand to solve this problem. Now the second thing is the correct order of operations or PEMDAS. And I'll do a quick review of this in just one second. Also, you need to have some basic uh, skills in working with positive and negative numbers. Okay, so PEMDAS is the correct order to do this problem. So anytime in math where you have uh, different operations going on, now a mathematical operator is things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, powers, etc. You need to follow the correct order of operations, which is this acronym right here, uh, PEMDAS. Okay, so just a fast review of the correct order of operations or PEMDAS. This is a checklist that goes from left to right. Okay, so P stands for parentheses. So if your problem has uh, any parentheses in it, that is where you're going to start. So right here in our problem, we have a number inside of parentheses, uh, but there is nothing to do inside of those parentheses. So that's not what the P in PEMDAS means. So if you had something like uh, five minus three, all this times two, well here there is something to do in the parentheses, so you have to start right here uh, according to PEMDAS, and then you go on and uh, do your multiplication. Okay, so that is what uh, the P stands for in PEMDAS. Now the next thing we have is E. Now E stands for exponents, but you can, you can think of this as powers. So if you have like two to the third power, this little three right there, is the exponent, two is the base, the entire thing is the power. So two to the third power means take two, which is our base, and multiply it by itself three times. That is two times two times two, which of course is eight. And uh, we need to keep this in mind because here in our problem, we do have two powers, okay? But how do we, how do we evaluate these powers without a calculator? 
Well, that's this part of the problem right here, and I'll get into that in just one second. So moving uh, on in our little PEMDAS checklist, again, we're going from left to right. So M, D, A, and S. M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. Okay, so the way this works is the following. So M and D and A and S are two groups. So you're not just going to do multiplication first if you have both uh, multiplication and division in your problem. So if you have uh, both multiplication and division in your problem, you're going to do whatever you see first from left to right. And then once, on, uh, once all uh, multiplication and division is done, you'll move on to any addition and subtraction and do it in the same manner. Okay, so again, a fast review of the order of operations because this comes into play in this particular problem. All right, now hopefully you know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide positive and negative numbers. And if you uh, don't know, I'll give you uh, some suggestions on how you can improve in all of this stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. All right, so the big thing here, I think for most people, is that negative one in parentheses squared is not the same thing as negative one squared written in this uh, way. All right, so what does this mean in math? Well, the base here is negative one. So you're saying this explicitly with these uh, parentheses. So this in math means take negative one and multiply it by itself two times, all right? So negative one is the base. So negative one times negative one, a negative times a negative is a positive. So the answer here is positive one. Okay, so this right here is very confusing for a lot of people, and uh, that's why I'm actually doing this video. I like to highlight common errors and common mistakes, but this does not mean the same as this. This means take the opposite of a positive one squared. So the base here is actually a positive one, not a negative one. If I wanted to indicate that the base is a negative one, I put that in parentheses, okay? So what this is saying is uh, take the opposite of a positive one squared. So really, this is one times one, or positive one times one, which of course is one, and then we'll put a negative sign in front of it. So the answer here is negative one. Okay, so again, math is a language, and you really gotta understand the details, and this uh, right here gets a lot of students in trouble. All right, uh, but now that we understand that, I think this becomes a pretty easy problem to uh, solve. Okay, so negative one squared without the parentheses is negative one like so, and then negative one in parentheses squared is a positive one. Negative one times negative one is a positive one. So now we have negative one minus one. So uh, we'll go ahead and get into the last remaining steps to solve this problem in just one second. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. My goal is to help as many people as possible in mathematics. And specifically, I'm trying to teach math in a clear and understandable and interesting way. Also, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. So the last step to solve this problem is to simply subtract these two numbers. So we have negative one minus a positive one, but we have to be very careful here because we are working with positive and negative numbers and subtraction uh, problems can get a lot of people in uh, trouble if they don't take their time and really make sure they understand what the problem is saying. So negative one minus one is the same thing as negative one plus a negative one. So negative one plus a negative one is a negative two. All right, so this is the final answer. And uh, don't feel bad if you got this problem wrong. I can assure you many people did. Now, why is this so important? Well, in algebra, we do things called evaluating expressions for a particular variable. So let me go ahead and show you an example. So let's say I have x squared, and I said uh, evaluate this expression or this variable expression for x is equal to negative one, okay? So what that means is plug in a negative one into this expression and tell me the answer. Well, guess what? Uh, many uh, students are going to do the following thing. They're going to do negative one in parentheses squared, 
and then a lot of other people are going to write uh, this uh, problem as negative 1 squared. Again, we want to evaluate this variable expression for x is equal to negative 1. So in other words, you're going to replace this x with a negative 1. But uh, anytime you are replacing a variable with a numeric value, you always use parentheses to avoid this very common error. Because again, negative 1 squared, this right here, is a positive 1. And this right here is a negative 1. Okay, So always use parentheses when you are uh, plugging in a value for a variable. And then, of course, you have to be very careful when you evaluate these uh, powers. Okay, so again, the only way to kind of uh, really retain this information is to practice, 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 and never feel bad about uh, making a math mistake. Uh, the key is, uh, you know, try to learn from your mistakes and then to retain that or to really build, you know, a new uh, knowledge base or skill set, you must practice. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.